All ye who seek a comfort sure in trouble and distress, whatever sorrow vex the mind or guilt the soul oppress, Jesus, who gave himself for you upon the cross to die, opens to you his sacred heart O oh, to that heart draw nigh. Ye hear how kindly he invites, ye hear his words so blessed. All ye that labour come to me, and I will give you rest. O oh, Jesus, joy of saints on high, Thou hope of sinners here, attracted by those loving words, to thee I lift my prayer. Wash thou my wounds in that dear blood which from thee forth doth flow. New grace, new hope, inspire a new and better heart In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. When he calls on me, I will answer him. I will deliver him and give him glory. I will grant him length of days. My dear brothers and sisters, today is the first Sunday of Lent, and we offer this Mass particularly for the life of our parish, praying that we may keep a holy and faithful Lent. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ and be worthy conduct pursue their effects through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God spoke to Noah and his sons, See, I establish my covenant with you, and with your descendants after you, also with every living creature to be found with you, birds, cattle, and every wild beast with you, everything that came out of the ark, everything that lives on the earth. I establish my covenant with you. No thing of flesh shall be swept away again by the waters of the flood. There shall be no flood to destroy the earth again. God said, here is the sign of the covenant I make between myself and you and every living creature with you for all generations. I set my bow in the clouds and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I gather the clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the clouds, I will recall the covenant between myself and you and every living creature of every kind. And so the waters shall never again become a flood 
to destroy all things of flesh. The word of the Lord. Your ways, Lord, are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant. Your ways, Lord, are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant. Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, teach me your paths. Make me walk in your truth and teach me, for you are my Saviour. Your ways, Lord, are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant. Remember your mercy, Lord, and the love you have shown from of old. In you, in your love, remember me, because of your goodness, O Lord. Your ways, Lord, are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant. The Lord is good and upright. He shows the path to those who stray. He guides the humble in the right path. He teaches his way to the poor. Your ways, Lord, are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Christ himself, innocent though he was, died once for sins, died for the guilty to lead us to God. In the body he was put to death, in the spirit he was raised to life, and in the spirit he went to preach to the spirits in prison. Now it was long ago, when Noah was still building that ark which saved only a small group of eight people by water, and when God was still waiting patiently that these spirits refused to believe. That water is a type of the baptism which saves you now, and which is not the washing off of physical dirt, but a pledge made to God from a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has entered heaven and is at God's right hand, now that he has made the angels and dominations and powers his subjects. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the wilderness, and he remained there for forty days and was tempted by Satan. He was with the wild beasts, and the angels looked after him. After John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the good news from God. The time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the good news. The Gospel of the Lord. In our first reading today, we hear of that covenant made by God to humankind, that they would be safe on the earth, that God would no longer destroy the earth with the flood that he had used to destroy the earth in the time of Noah. St Peter reminds us that the water uh, of the flood is a water of cleansing from which only a handful, eight people, are saved. Only eight are able to get into the ark. Baptism the waters of baptism that we have each received as Christians wash away our sins and join us to another ark, the ark of the church that floats, as it were, through the world, protecting and saving all humankind. We are members of the body of Christ and we are on the ark of salvation, the church. It is this ark that we join through our baptism and it is this ark that guides us and strengthens us and sustains us and keeps us uh, in relationship with God. It's important then that we in this Lenten season think particularly about our own baptisms. Think about what that washing with water means for us. It might have happened that our baptism happened when we were very young or perhaps more recently. But that washing in water that cleanses us of our sins binds us together and keeps us in this ark of salvation, the church. And so Lent is a time for returning 
uh, to that fundamental part of our faith, our baptism, and thinking about how we need to keep up with our baptismal promises to turn to Christ, to follow Christ, to be one with Christ, and to turn away from evil and the devil and sin. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In the power of the Spirit, and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Father, we pray for the Church throughout the world, we pray for all Christians in this holy season of Lent, that as we prepare for the coming of Easter, we may remain faithful to the promises of our baptism. Lord, hear us. We pray for our parishes, for our parish clergy, for our life and work here in these places, for all our works of mission and evangelization. We pray for our Lent charities, for our parish food bank, and for the Humanitarian Aid Relief Trust. We pray for those celebrating birthdays or anniversaries at this time, that they may be richly blessed. Lord, hear us. We pray for peace among the nations of the world, for an end to warfare and violence. We continue to pray for those affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, for all who are in need. In our local community, we pray for those who continue to be affected by the Grenfell Tower fire, for all who grieve and mourn. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who are sick, for all in our hospital, hospice and care homes, and for the housebound, for the sick known to us, and for all on our parish prayer list. That they may know God's healing and loving presence. Lord, hear us. And we pray for those who have died, for our own departed relations and friends, and for all past members of this parish, for those who have died recently, for any who have died alone, afraid, or in an emergency, and for those whose anniversaries of death fall at this time. Rest eternal, grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. And so we join our prayers with those of all the saints, with St. Michael, St. Francis and St. Colum, and chiefly with Mary, Our Lady of Sorrows, whom we greet, saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, you promise to hear us when we pray in faith. Hear the prayers we offer now, and grant them according to your will and for our benefit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. 
It will become our spiritual dream. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Give us the right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by abstaining forty long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance, and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that, celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all heavens. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Jonathan, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord will conceal you with his pinions, and under his wings you will trust. Let us pray. Renewed now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May bountiful blessing, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people, that hope may grow in tribulation, virtue be strengthened in temptation, and eternal redemption be assured, through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Forty days and forty nights thou wast fasting in the wild. Forty days and forty nights, tempted and yet undefiled. Sunbeams scorching all the day, chilly dewdrops nightly shed. Prowling beasts about thy way, Stones thy pillow, earth thy bed. Shall we not thy watchings share, And from earthly joys abstain, Fasting with unceasing prayer, Glad with thee to suffer pain? And if Satan vexing sore, Flesh or spirit should assail, Thou his vanquisher before, Grant we may not faint nor fail. 
so shall we have peace divine. All your gladness us shall be. Round us too shall angels shine, such as ministered to thee. Keep, O oh, keep us, Saviour dear, ever constant by thy side, that with thee we may appear at the eternal Easter tide. The angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.